Hey guys, so today we're gonna make these storage benches and they are used for, you know, reading areas under a window or you can use them in a kitchen for a kitchen nook area and then put a kitchen table around the area as well for smaller spaces. And it really looks nice when you put some pillows up like this and you know, all the materials and tools I used in this video, they'll be in the description box. Here you'll see the lid opening up. It has hinges that hold them up as well as soft closed dampers. And then you can fit anything you want, toys, pillows, blankets inside the storage bench. So let's start and make these benches. I first started out making the frame of the storage bench using two by fours. And I cut them out with my miter saw and used wood glue and brad nails to first hold the structure of the frame. And then I used wood screws to hold them in place. To hold the other pieces of wood together, I used the pocket hole system by Craig and I used one and a half inch pocket holes and two and a half inch screws. I'll have the written instructions on my website or blog at paultrandiy.com with the dimensions I used and I'll have a 3D modeling hopefully uh, by the time you get to see it. Next you just want to sand down your frame a little bit just to make sure you don't get any splinters. I used a circular saw with a jig that I made to cut straight lines and this was used to cut half inch birch plywood for the exterior of the box which would go around the 2x4 frame. Here you'll see that I'm just gluing up the frame, putting on the half inch birch plywood, clamping it down before I brad nail it together. Now I wanted the storage bench to have a shaker look, so what I did was I used the half inch plywood birch and I cut three inch strips out in width and created a box on all the sides. For the top of the bench, I used three quarters inch plywood and to make the round over edge look I had the lip come out one quarter of an inch past the frame and then I rounded it over with the router. To attach the lid to the bench I used piano hinges. To paint the entire bench I used a paint sprayer and used a primer paint mix uh, just a white color. For any imperfections you have or anything that might be showing, you can always use white caulking to hide it. The bench lid uses these hinges that hold them up as well as the soft dampers that are installed here. The last thing you want to do is uh, you want to add furniture feet or padding to help uh, prevent scratches on your floor and uh, even out your seating so it doesn't rock back and forth and makes it more level. All right, thanks for watching. That's how you build these storage benches. Follow me on Instagram at PaulTranDIY. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and remember, eat your vegetables.